cut some potatoes into pieces and check out our frying pan. That doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, most of you sailors won't agree, but like that, it is pretty safe. Okay, I'm not saying people should fry on a boat, especially not with waves like this, but this is pretty safe. And we're just really hungry and we want french fries. From sashimi and fresh fish to potatoes, french fries and bratwurst. And a sunset. Beautiful red sky. Just took the mainsail down night because of the squalls we take the mainsail down and we're on the engine now because there's no wind we also always do a balatali uh, so you connect that a rope uh, to your boom so it's not wiggling around like that so otherwise you uh, well if things wiggle they break happily a very quiet night we've got about two and a half days on the ocean so spend some time so in the morning let's make some fish Okay guys, since we have our frying pan, we're gonna make some kibbling, as we call it in the Netherlands. That's uh, fried fish in corn, and we just made from some corn flakes. I made some, well actually, Yip was crushing this. And from some oak, I made some other stuff. Yeah, we call it paneer meal. I don't know how you say it in uh, English, but uh, uh, I think it's breaded butter. So. Uh, Let's make some fish sticks. So, some curry, some complete seasoning, salt, pepper. Mix it up and put it with a little bit of corn. That's the freshest fish sticks ever, guys. Well, I don't want to exaggerate, guys, but this is the best looking crispy fish I've ever seen in my life. Fresh sailfish, people. Okay, once again, we got a little bit of storm coming up and we've got a little marine ship over there. So uh, let's see what's gonna happen. Can we pass it or will they board us here at El Salvador? I think we're gonna be boarded by the Coast Guard. They're on their way. So I think we're gonna be intercepted. Let's see how that goes, guys. passing just behind us. I don't know if they're gonna circle around, but it's always a little bit intimidating. Having four guys standing up front with a big machine gun. Well, happily they didn't board us and it seems like the storm is passing us on the back and we're having a beautiful sunset. So uh, hopefully another quiet night and then maybe tomorrow we will arrive at our destination. Nice. Yep, sailing into Mexico at sunrise. Got the boats fishing at the pier. Mexico, we made it. We're broken. How do you feel? Broken. It was quite a trip, guys. Quite a trip. I am not joking. There's people swimming across the channel here, signaling me. Nice little albatross saying hello there, buddy. Beautiful. Why is there people swimming across the channel where container ships come in? And after two rocky nights, we made it into Marina Chapas. There's a lot of jellyfish here and they sting awfully. They just explained. Look at these little nasty buggers. Okay, just in the harbor, just in the marina. Check that out. Stingrays, beautiful. So okay guys, we arrived to the port, we tried to get some sleep, but uh, after an hour, Roddy was here to wake us up, of course. 
And now Ronnie is awesome because he's going to take us to the port uh, guy, uh, to the marine, to the customs. First we got into the port and they all came to the boat. Uh, guards with dogs sniffing out for drugs. Uh, the immigration came and customs. And, uh, but now we have to go there to put the stamps in our passport, pay some stuff and Ronnie is helping us out doing that. So uh, thank you so much Ronnie. Hey, no problem. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay guys, I'm broken. I'm here in the cab with Mario. <laughs> and uh, he's driving us to the border of uh, Guatemala. That's where we need to do the permit for the boat. Uh, but I'm broken, I'm tired. So I asked Mario if I can sleep a little bit. Uh, Yip is cleaning up the boat. It's a 45 minute drive. Uh, so there's a lot of things to be done if you come check into Mexico. Uh, first they come all to your boat, so the customs, immigration, port officer, uh, to check the boat and the dogs, to check on drugs. Then you have to visit them in their offices. That's also take you probably an hour or two. And then you need to go to the border of Guatemala for the permit. So I'm gonna sleep. I haven't slept well in five days. So I'm just gonna close my eyes here next to Mario and uh, then hopefully I get the permit for 180 days and then all authorities are happy and I can uh, stay with the boat for a while. Later. So next day after some well-deserved sleep it's time for a day off and going for a nice surf before I start repairing. Okay good morning guys so we ripped out the ring of the Genoa in the one of the squalls uh, the other day so we're gonna fix that so what we're actually gonna do we're gonna have some of the metal rings in here we're gonna put them along the lough we're gonna get some new pieces of rope put it in there sew it up and then it should be uh, strong as new so uh, let's do it Check that out, Jib's doing the Genoa. That looks amazing. That's gonna be like so strong again. Look at that, stronger than before. Asshole proof as we call it. And as a finishing touch, we're covering the thread with super glue. So that's gonna make it even stronger. Well, let's see how long it will hold. Already in Mexico for over a week and we're gonna get our first shot. Thank you, Amanda. There we go, because we couldn't find it in any restaurant here because it seems that licenses are very expensive. Yep. Cheers. To, uh, to Mexico. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good tequila. Yeah. What's on my chest, actually? What's on my chest? Yeah. <laughs> what it? When do you guys head now? Woo. Wednesday? Yep, what you doing? He's gonna sting well, you. They, they found a scorpion. He, he's trying to sting me, yeah. They found a scorpion. But... Okay. He looks like a little bastard. Oh. You know, in, in Mexico, they take a tequila shot and then they eat the scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got some old bananas. And then we make a little bit of dough, some milk and some corn flour. Put it in the frying pan. And you got some banana cookies. Seems like everything around the boat revolves around food. But if you have old stuff, there's always something nice to make. So uh, yeah, let's ch check this out. Banana, baking powder and milk. You're going to see this happen numerous times. This is my plan. Okay, today a little adventure. We're here with Zach. With Chad and Amanda and the rest of the boat you see in a minute. So, a little dinghy adventure. So, today is the first time Yip and me are going on a dinghy adventure. So, it's going up the river with a group of dinghies, awesome. and I'm invited and here with Chad, Zach, and Amanda and uh, getting into the river. And you see the animals, you see the river. It's crazy. And uh, well, Zach is really inspiring. And well, he's gonna sail the boat to Canada with his son and his lovely wife. But first, we're gonna do a dinghy ride here into the river with our new friends Sailing Basic and Rolling Thunder in the yellow dinghy. Check out Sailing Basic on YouTube. They have an amazing channel. 
on uh, Katamara and they share their uploads in weekly vlog so check them out And going up this river, you really get to see how these people live here in these cabins. And they're so happy. They don't care about the expensive car. They want to go to the beach in the weekend with a tequila and uh, have fun and dance. And uh, well, this is Sailing Basic. And check that out. How cool is this? We're going to a restaurant, getting some nice food, uh, getting it onto the beach. And uh, well, after the food, it's work time again for us. Okay, we done two uh, water tanks that we fixed the other day. It didn't work out, so we fixed two water tanks. One we did our way, like with the epoxy and everything solid, and the other we did it as people told us to do with like special silicon kit and stuff like that, but only held for two days. So we're gonna do it the old fashioned way, just epoxy all the things together again, because epoxy is 10 times stronger than kit people. Yep, so unfortunately, everything needs to come out again. The hatches are opened up again and uh, well we don't need to argue where the water has gone to. You can see where the good kit was, it's all been just deteriorated and gone. So yeah that's a big hole, that's where the water goes. Yeah I think it's just a construction failure because every Benetton has it and I don't think it's the smartest idea to make a connection like that and just seal it with a bit of kit instead of just epoxying it together but uh, okay epoxy it and should be good. Yuck. Let's clean that and epoxy it. So we filled up the space between the pipe and the water tanks with telco putty and now we're going to go over it with fiberglass. Sealed and glassed. There we go. That's never going to leak anymore. It's not the clear coat, the clear gel or the clear epoxy, but that doesn't matter. Color is not important as long as it's just never ever going to leak anymore. And like all the people in the marine come together for a nice barbecue. Kids playing, beers, barbecue. Beautiful day. I paid 650 pesos for my membership. Check out all the amazing food. Everybody made fresh salads, guacamole, uh, brownies. Oh my god, check out this beautiful turtle here in the bay as well. It's amazing here. Turtles, fish, beautiful little stingrays, and that's just in the marina, guys. Okay, next week, surf is up and way more, so don't forget to watch again. Every Saturday I'm going to try to make a new upload. I was a little bit lazy for the last couple of weeks because I've been busy on the boat, but don't forget to subscribe. Some amazing stuff from Mexico coming up. We don't